it's M.E.M. Mom here. And today we're going to be making what? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. We are going to be making caramel surprise cupcakes. And then some regular cupcakes for me. And regular cupcakes for Emmy because he does not like caramel. Yes, because because caramel is like taking it off my head. We're going to be making the cupcakes from scratch, which I think is the best way to make them. And I'm going to let Emmy do as much as he can since this is for his channel. Yes, and I'm going to do this. And Mommy is going to help me. Yeah. Okay, so to make these, you're going to need eggs, eggs, flour, yeah. sugar, butter, butter, baking soda. We just showed him the butter. Yeah, we did. Salt, vanilla, and, and milk. Some and some milk mm -hmm. and this. And you're gonna need two bowls and a mixer. I'm gonna put the recipe down in the description box. You can follow along if you wanna bake caramel surprise cupcakes with your kid. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna put the dry ingredients in the smaller bowl. And we are going to need Two and a fourth mm. cups of flour. Yeah, but can we put it in here? Yep, we're going to use the, the whole cup measure first. Mm -hmm. Two of these. So can you count them out? Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you pour it. I'm going to help mm -hmm. get it out because it's a big mess if you spill it all over the Whoa. table. Okay, now put that gently in this blue bowl. Can I do it myself? Yep. Was that good? Yes, that is fine. Okay, don't lick the flour. I just had it a tiny bit. And then you added an wait, wait, wait. extra one. And here comes the second one. And then we're going to use our fourth cup measure to get that last fourth cup of flour. Yes, can I do it? Yes. Keep it, keep it level. Because we're already getting flour all over, Mom. Sorry. It's all right. Okay, and then we're going to need one and a half cups of sugar. Now, before, while I'm getting the sugar out, do you know where flour comes from? Do you know what flour is? Flour comes from a windmill. A windmill. Flour is made from wheat. Now there are other types of flour, but the flour we have is made from wheat, which is a grain. And what, what else do you make with flour besides cupcakes? Cakes. Cakes. What else? Uh, bread. Bread. He loves bread. Okay, so now we're going to add one and a half cups of sugar. We're using the half cup measure, so we're going to need three, three half cup measures of sugar. Go ahead and put that in. Alright. Look at covered on the dough. Yeah. It's like a tsunami attack. Here's the second one. That makes a full cup of sugar and now we need another half cup of sugar. Now we just need one more. One more. Well, sorry. That's okay. And it's alright. I'm going to sweep the floor later tonight anyway. Because his little brother puts his snacks on the floor when he's done eating, he throws the rest of his food on the floor. <laughs> That's funny, right? Yeah, very funny. I've already measured out some baking powder. It's three and a half teaspoons. Yes, and it smells great. Go ahead and pour that right into the bowl. And then I also have one teaspoon of salt. We happen to have pink Himalayan Whoa. salt. Um, you can use regular white table salt. And uh, we also I'm used um, raw sugar instead of white sugar, but you can use white sugar. Now, here, go ahead and pour that in. And while we're talking, do you know where sugar comes from? 
Well, sugar can come from a lot of different places, but uh, the, most of the sugar that people use comes from sugar cane, which is grown in tropical climates like Hawaii. Yeah, and what is salt made from? Salt is uh, sodium chloride. It smells great now. That's N-A-C-L. N-D-C-L. Knackle. Knackle. But it's actually salt. So, sugar can also come from fruits and sometimes even vegetables like beets. So, we talked about flour and sugar. And, and, and salt. And salt is sodium chloride which we'll get into when he's a little bit older in chemistry. And uh, <sighs> baking powder. I don't even know what baking powder is. It's a it's a type of powder, I guess you mean. It's a type of powder for baking, right? Yeah. Let's find out. Okay, so. All right, sodium. Okay, what is in this? Aluminum free baking powder. Sodium acid pyrophosphate, sodium bicarbonate, cornstarch, and monocalcium phosphate. And it's gluten free. Yeah. Okay, well, it helps the cakes and cupcakes and breads and stuff um, rise and bake. Now, I'm going to help you mix a little bit because the bowl is not very big. And I've already got flour all over my skirt. All right. Good. So we've combined the dry ingredients in the small bowl. And now we're going to start working with the wet ingredients. Now, I already put the butter in here because I forgot to set it out to soften. And so I microwaved it and it started to melt. So I put it in there. It's a full stick of butter. So we're going to beat the butter for one to two minutes. And I'm going to cut that out because it's very loud. So we beat the butter until it's nice and fluffy. Can I see? That looks perfect. And now I'm going to let Emmy slowly pour the dry ingredients into the bigger bowl with the butter. Then we have to, I think we have to mix it again. And then we're going to mix it again. All right, do you want to help this time? Yes. Okay, very carefully. And here we go. It's going to look really uh, powdery right now because we haven't added the part that he's been waiting for since we started. And what part is that? Uh, eggs. Eggs. He has been wanting to put the eggs in since we started. Very excited about eggs. Now, where did we get these eggs? Do you know? Amber. Amber. And who is Amber? He's one of your friends. She is one of my friends that has a farm. So these eggs are free range, farm fresh eggs from my friend. Now, do you know where eggs come from? Chicken. Chickens. Do you know where else we can get eggs that we eat? Stores. Stores. <laughs> well, I kind of meant ducks. But these are chicken wow. eggs. Wow. Yeah, good job. That was good. It's messy, but it's fun. So, do you know why we put eggs in our cupcakes? Because they make them fresh and yummy. Make them fresh and yummy? Yeah. We use eggs to bind everything together. Yeah. It kind of makes it stick, makes it into a batter. Now, we're also going to add... One and a fourth cups of milk. And mom's going to help me pour it. Very carefully. Why are you putting milk on top of eggs? It's gross. Well, it turns out really yummy, doesn't it? And the last thing we're going to put in. Vanilla. Vanilla. One whole tablespoon. So that's this big one. We need the big tablespoon. And pour it right into the spoon there. Can you do it? Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to mix it with that. And now we're going to mix it until we have a nice cupcake batter. And again, I am going to cut that part out because it's very loud and you can't hear anything anyway. Alright, you ready? Yeah. 
All right, you got a hold of it? All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so we got these fun little papers from... I think Walmart. Walmart or Kroger, I don't know for sure. But they're cute, they're kind of festive. So Emmy is lining our cupcake pans. And how are we going to cut this? I'm going to show you. It's going to be fun. Yay. We're going to actually use the um, measuring cup that we had the milk in. And I'm going to put some of the batter in there. Ew. It's like gross. It's not gross. It's right, so I've got some cake batter in here. And, and I'm we're going, going to pour it into here. And we're going to pour it into there. All right, so... Go ahead and pour, and I will tell you when to stop. Okay, stop. You want to fill them about two-thirds of the way full. Stop. And I don't even know how many cupcakes uh, this is going to make. Uh, maybe four. One, two, three, four, We have five, 12 seven, seven, eight, spots. 11, 12. And I have batter left. Okay, I'm going to put some more batter in the cup. So we have one of them full. Yeah, and soon we're ready to put in the oven. Yeah. All right. Are we putting the rest in? Now we're going to fill up this one. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Do we have more in my okay, stop. cups? Whoa, that one's kind of full. That one that is not good. And stop. Oops. It's okay. I actually they can't see it. I can't see it. And one more. We're just going to have like one giant cupcake. Got some batter left over in the cup and also in the bowl. I'm going to guess from the amount of batter that I have left that the, this recipe will make probably at least 24 cupcakes. Mm -hmm. I'm likely going to just make an extra cake or something with the leftover batter. You can see I've got quite a bit. You know, you could use more to make more. Hand. Or we could make more cupcakes. The oven is almost preheated, so we're going to set them in there, bake them for 15 to 22 minutes. Once they're done, we'll come back, and Emmy and I are going to show you how to make the caramel surprise. And then we're gonna ice them and show you what they look like when they're all done. Yeah. All right, so we will see you in a bit. Bye for now. We'll be back for the second half of this video after we bake. Hello, I just got my cupcake finisher. That is a regular cupcake. And mom um, made it for me. I and now we're going to some icing things. Yep, we're going to put the caramel inside. And some of uh, this. Yep. Some caramel. All right, so what you're going to need for this, if you're making these with your kid, is a chopstick or some other kind of little small um, thing to make a hole. Yeah. You're going to need some caramel. Uh, I just showed them that. I know. I picked up Sanders Fine Chocolatier uh, Classic Caramel Dessert Topping America's Original Gourmet. Got this at Kroger. Now I've warmed it up a little bit and put some in a little Tupperware with a spoon so it'll be a little bit easier for him to drizzle it. You're also going to need some icing. Normally, we would make our own icing, but I happen to have some cream cheese icing from Aldi's, kind of sitting around being lonely. So. so, because this video was getting long anyway, I decided, well, we'll just use the icing we have. I don't have a pastry cone, so we put it in a Ziploc bag, and we're going to snip the tip and yep. ice. But first... We have to make You take your chopstick and you're going to poke little holes into the cupcake. Can I do 
Let me show you the first one, and then you can do the rest. Look, we go. Is that? Hope. Are we going to put a candle in? Nope, we're going to put a candle in. Hope. Hope. See that? Yeah. So, we've got little holes in the cupcake, and that's where we're going to drizzle the caramel. Mm -hmm. that first mm -hmm. No, I want to do it. Okay, see how I did this one? Hope. Yep. Okay. Hope. This is sort of my own version of what is called poke cake. We're not really big cake eaters, but we love cupcakes. Oh, I don't know why. Whoops. That's fine. Okay, so we've got all of our cupcakes poked. We're doing six right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to show him the first one, and then I'm going to attempt to let him do as much as possible with the next five. All right, watch this. See this? You got the spoon. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you're going to... Can I do it? Yep. Let me just finish this one. Hey, Mom, I did really good on this one. You did. You're going to get as much of it in the hole as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can have a little candle on top. Okay. God, my head hurts. Why does your head hurt? Because I ate too much marshmallows. Marshmallows? Yes, baby marshmallows. The candy marshmallows. Where did you get baby marshmallows? Do you know from the gas station? You mean watermelons? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're going to try this. Hopefully it doesn't end up all over my skirt like the flower did. Okay. Very gently. Is it for my channel? Yep. Oops, well that one's got a lot. Ooh. Here, let's go this way. Let's kind of drag it over. Hey, Mom, look. There. I just there. dumped a whole thing for you. Yes. So. No time for this one. This is kind of what they look like. Um, he kind of dumped the rest of the hey, Mom, spoon. Did I, did I do really like well on this one? Yep. Okay, ready? Yes. We're going to finish. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's just here. If you dump a little too much on top, just kind of use the spoon to drag it over the holes, and then you have that. All right, we're going to finish these up real quick, and then we're going to ice them. Last one. Let's get some caramel. Now we're going to dump careful. Let's pour some of it back out. And drizzle it into the holes that you poked with the chopstick. He's very meticulous with his caramel dripping. I actually think he's more precise than I am. Hey, Mom, I'm pouring the whole thing in this bowl. Okay. We have all of the caramel in. I've got plenty left, so you can make a lot of these. I've even got I'll some look. left in here. And that is what they look like before they're iced when they have the caramel in the holes. Now, we are going to ice. You've never iced any cupcakes mm. like this before, have you? Yeah, only you. Mm. Only me. All right, so we're going to show him how. We're going to cut a little hole out of the very corner of the bag. All right, hold on to it. And we're going to squeeze it. Look at that. Hey, can I have some of them now? Well, after we're done. <laughs> now we're just going to do this. Well, those are looking perfect. Look at that. Okay, so there's the icing. The iced cupcake. Let's keep going. Oh, you're doing a good swirl. Look at that swirl. Woo! Look at that. This kid may end up being a baker. Yeah, I guess I'm being a chef. And per his request. A chef. Here. Ha, ha, ha.
That was yummy. Nothing like sugary cream cheese icing. Mm. Now, if you want to get really fancy, I picked up some uh, dark chocolate caramel. Uh, I think at Aldi's, and you can just kind of cut them or break them into little. Uh, Sam, what are you? What are you doing? It makes them look fancy. And then you have your little caramel surprise Listen. cupcakes. Yeah, and and I guess we'll call that a sh uh, an iceberg. I <laughs> guess we'll call that an iceberg on a cupcake. Iceberg. Okay, so here are the finished yeah, and this caramel surprise cupcakes. And this is what they look like inside. You can see a little bit of the caramel kind of dripping down into the center, so I'm sure it's going to be really tasty. And since he doesn't like caramel, <gasps> darn it, I guess I'm just going to have to try it. No, I actually took a piece of it and whipped it off. Do you want some? Yummy. Mm. All right. Did I actually get a piece of caramel? I can live with that. Yeah. Thanks for watching Ellie's Crunching Kitchen. <laughs> and we'll see you next time for science or baking or arts and crafts. Who knows? Make sure you like and share some subscribe to Amy's Crunching Kitchen. See you next time. Cupcakes from scratch. The best way to make them.